publicly funded, so <laughs> okay. we got a couple, uh, a couple of tricks. See, I, I, I put my scarf on today because I'm in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Canadian. Good of you. Yeah. yeah. So are we rolling here? Yeah. I hope we're rolling. We're, this is all the best. This stuff. is the best. Exactly. <laughs> My God, we're we're catching all the A, a material. Uh, so we are at the, the uh, catacombs here of uh, GM Place, and we've got the man himself, Lars Ulrich from uh, Metallica. Dude, thank you so much for doing this. You're welcome. The last time uh, that the, the, the Fox had you on on the station was when I went down to San Rafael and did the world album premiere, uh, <coughs> like five years ago. This is right at the time when when Robert was just joining the band and. And you guys were like super stoked. I, I remember the main thing that 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 I got that I was kind of taken from from the interview with you was how stoked you were to be playing the Fillmore Theater for I the know, first time. That, you know, now I'm very stoked to be here in Vancouver. I'm always stoked to wherever I am at that particular moment because yeah. I'm happy to be alive. But um, the Fillmore is um, is is the sort of seminal place with history in San Francisco where you know they go back to the Grateful Dead and everything since then. And um, so we it's our favorite place to go see bands go and have a drink and all this stuff i i, I don't think i'd ever been there sober so it was kind of interesting to be there and, and actually see the chandeliers and the backstage and the whole thing well, and what um, took you guys so long to get there, i like? you know sometimes just things take we, we take all these detours uh we took a detour by every other venue in san francisco over the years but we finally ended up at the fillmore and um what a great place to play <laughs> We did. We haven't gotten a chance to do it on this cycle yet, but hopefully there'll be a couple film more shows in there at some point. Nice. Speaking of San Francisco, there was an award that you guys won—a local uh, award. I forget what the award was called. You and I spoke about it on the phone at one point, uh, and and we sort of had a laugh at the fact that a band like Metallica, who was so notorious back in the day, especially in your stomping grounds, that you would be honored by the city where you guys sort of created so much <laughs> debauchery. Well, you know, we fly the flag for San Francisco all over the world. We, it says Metallica, and on half our swag, as you call it up here, it says San Francisco under the word Metallica. So um, we're proud of, of, of our hometown and, and, and what we represent. And, um, you know, San Francisco has always been a little more left. Pretty you know, open-minded. Pretty, pretty open-minded city. So a lot of these are debauchery and, and so on. And um, we um, fly the flag for that proudly. <laughs> all over the world and so do most of the people that live in San Francisco. So I, I think it's um we've been up in San Francisco since Cliff Burton um uh not invited us but were sort of uh, insisted on us coming to San Francisco in uh, 1983. Uh that was his condition for joining the band and so it's been about 25 years now and we we love it and it's our home. A lot of people forget that you tried to make a start in Los Angeles. Yes. Before you uh, before you set up in in San Francisco, uh, I've always and I've heard bits and pieces of what it was like for you guys in the, in the Hollywood scene, especially at that time when everybody was wearing the eyeliner and the, and the big mm -hmm. hair and all that. Uh, how how much did Metallica stand out on the Sunset Strip before you moved up um, to San Francisco? That was uh, those were uh, awkward days there. Us running around in our Iron Maiden and Motorhead t shirts and. Uh, you know, the Motley Crue guys in their platform boots were about eight feet tall and very scary with their another extra foot of hair and all that. So we got um, our asses kicked on a regular basis, and uh, but we um, tried to get them back by being extra full of piss and vinegar through our music. And um, thankfully, uh, Cliff Burton insisted on that if he was going to join Metallica that we would have to relocate to San Francisco, and that was one of those... Um, things that we took about a second to ponder and off we we left uh the debauchery of hollywood is, behind is us the, and scene, the scene that different from hollywood to to san fran yes in that in those days it was you know in, was in 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 la at the time hollywood it, all the bands like motley Crue and rat and uh, you know all the early days of the hair metal stuff uh up in san francisco it was more more of like a punk scene right. and more um what I imagine, like maybe it was up here or Seattle, more alternative and more punkish, and a lot of people that were really an extension of the, how the city viewed itself. It was more kind of left field and not so conformist and so conservative. Yeah. 